that I related to is um, back when I first came into the field of nursing in the um, late 1980s, it was the height of the AIDS crisis. Um, and everyone was really focusing on um, who was infected, you know, what were cures, all that sort of thing. And no one was focusing on the fact that all of these people were dying and leaving kids behind. You know, there, were, there was this whole generation of forgotten children who, who, uh, who lost parents, had six parents, and their parents were, um, were ill in a very shameful way. Um, and now we've created a, yet another population of kids who are losing parents. There are kids who don't go to school because they're afraid their parents are going to overdose. And so they're you know, staying home to look after their parents and their drug addictions. Um, and, so, and, and that's also a very shameful sort of predicament to be in. So, so it, we really do need to, anytime we talk about funding for opioid services or any initiative, we need to be thinking about, you know, the casualties of this epidemic. I mean, that's really important because then not only is mom getting access to treatment, um, but she has child with her and there's supervision to make sure the child's safe. Um, because even people who are recovering at home can still be distracted um, and not being paying attention to their infants. So more programs that are family-centered um, anybody who comes in who needs some kind of help with managing their addiction um, needs to be asked, are there kids at home? Are you responsible for kids? How can we help with their kids? Mm -hmm.